morning. What's going on? Just look at look at my mug today. Drink up, bitches. Witches. Oh, sorry. Beep. Seems more like a Halloween mug. That's all right. Cool. What's going on? We haven't talked for hours. Uh, I know. Crazy. 12 to 14 hours. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know, but I am very disappointed in you. Well, before we get to um, how I failed you somehow, <laughs> <laughs> let's say hello to anybody who happens to be watching. Did um, you record? I did hit record. I'm on it this time. I, I haven't I haven't told a little bird yet, but um, I'm Trista. I'm from mommyupgrade.com and shapero.com. And this is my bestie Molly of eons and eons of MaggieMoo.com and MJ6 promotions. Uh -huh. right? Yep. Yep. I guess, well, I should say my other website, tpgbusiness.com. So we are working moms who uh, embrace social media. So this is our, we talk every morning anyway. So we figured we would do it on Blab and uh, see if anybody else has some fun stuff to add to our crazy lives. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. We'll refine that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how have I failed you? You're not the slightest bit impressed by my dash buttons. Uh, no, because I sent them to you months ago, and uh -huh. my client has already created a competing product for them. Uh, I'm well. so over those. I've been talking till I'm blue about those Amazon dash buttons for probably eight months. Mm -hmm. It's backwards. Um. So maybe tell somebody who's looking. Okay, so this is funny. I, it, it, I, I want all these. I want my entire pantry to be buttons, and I want them all, all of the things that I order with this button, because that's what you do. You, uh, It's connected to Wi-Fi. It's connected to, on my uh, Wi-Fi at home. It's connected to my Amazon account, my one-click settings. It took me two seconds to set this up. I get to pick the tr the Thai products that I would want to be prompted to be ordered. And I stuck this to my washing machine. I just pulled it off two seconds ago. And you push the button, and I don't have to do anything. It uh, signs the purchase to my credit card that I've assigned to this account. And... Uh, the type of shipping I want, and obviously it will deliver to the address that I default to. And within two days, I'll have this purchase. So I ordered the bouncy one and the Tide one. And I tend to use Tide. I don't always tend to use Bounty because I tend to use the kind of off-brand Kroger stuff, but um, for paper towels and stuff. But when I looked last night on the option, it was the prices were comparable because it's it's you know from an Amazon whatever and it's free shipping and I love it I think it's cool but see I love this kind of stuff I love geeky tech stuff I love just different whatever and so last night I set this up and um, I accidentally ordered some so I had to because I had hit the button by accident. So then I had to cancel that order. So then I went to stick it on my washing machine and accidentally ordered some. So I had to cancel that order. It's and supposed so then, to have a fail safe in it that you don't get another one before. Because I mean, they've thought about toddlers who just go up and ding, 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 and you yeah, know, it have could a truckload delivered. I mean, it could. I um, there's some fail safe in there. It's probably in your settings. It it didn't matter because I mean I had. What I have, the way I have it set up is um, I, you know, I, I set it up with a shipping default. I set it up with the address. I set it up with the credit card. And then I set up, which I probably already had, the text notification. So anytime I place an order through Amazon, through one click or this, it texts me and says, hey, we've got your order. So I knew I had ordered it because it had texted me. So if like AJ goes and hits the button, I'm going to get a text message because he's ordered it. So, and then I just went right on and canceled it. It was not that big a deal. So cool. This is so, I, I just, don't want those little buttons all over my house. Yeah, but you can put them all inside the 
like the, my um, the washing machine one, I have it right on the washing machine because I think that's kind of cute. But then the paper towel one, I, I was like, okay, do I put it in my pantry where I keep the paper towels that we're not using or do I put it over by the paper towels? And I thought about putting it in the cabinet, but I think I'm just going to put it in the um, pantry because I think it's cool. And I sat there with the other options that they have, and I think they're up to maybe two dozen other products, you know, Glad's on there, um, Lysol, yeah. some other things. And I um, don't use those products because I think they're expensive and I'm a couponer. But um, these two products, when I went online, I said, okay, the, I would use Tide anyways, but um, the bouncy was it was comparable in price. And, and I really am a couponer. I have a whole, I'm, I'm, people probably don't know that about me, but I, I definitely try. So, so are they still charging four ninety five per dash button? Okay, so um, you you pay four ninety five for the dash button, but then you get a credit for your first purchase. So the button's free. Okay. I probably would have paid anyways, though. I know you would. To me, it's no different than just downloading a $5 app or, you know, doing okay. something else. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to go back on there today and order more. But actually, I have to look closer because I think you only get it off of your first dash type order. I don't think, I don't know if I got like $5 off Tide or if I get $5 off Bounty or $5 off Glad, but I, I sat there and I was like, well, I can switch dog foods. I don't really care, but <laughs> there weren't any other items. So tell me about what your client's doing to like get these products out. Well, there's just a little, it's a little more robust of a solution. It's not a push button. It's a scan from your phone, mm -hmm. but so you can, if it's a product that you buy a lot or whatever, you can just have the little QR code stick wherever you want. But there's, there's goes a little bit deeper. I mean, it does exactly that. It can program, you know, to reorder it for Amazon automatically. So you just scan it with your phone and be done. But um, <clears throat> there's, well, actually, track the product all the way through the manufacturing cycle. So like you as a consumer could go in and see exactly where your product was made. And so for the example with Chipotle, I guess, so say they had this, um, we call it pack print. So they had the pack print on the burritos or something. It could trace the food all the way from the field to the manufacturing plant to the processing facility to there. So it's you know they knew the tomatoes from Indiana were bad or whatever they could they could find it. And it's it's not so relevant with fast food, but so for packaged goods, that's where we're trying to make a difference. Um, so I mean, there's there's a number of different applications. The most intriguing would be as a mom you can scan the product in the store and it, once you've set up your profile, say you've got allergies at home or food sensitivities, the product, it would just pop up once you scan it with like a green light or a red light. Yep. You can take that home. You know, it's gluten free or whatever, whatever you've set up to flag that you can't consume, it would automatically tell you, yes, you can buy it. Or, no, you can't. No, you can't. Then it could suggest some others. Also, you can embed cross promotions in there. What's interesting, I mean, it's got two different hooks, basically. If you're on the operational side and you have implemented this solution, it will track your food all the way through or whatever product you're making, it could be pharmaceuticals, it could be whatever, it tracks it all the way through the processing line. So in case you had a recall, say you had a quality control issue and um your medicine bottles weren't sealed correctly. So you need to pull a certain amount or you want to recall those. Well, instead of getting on NBC News and saying, we're recalling all of ABC aspirin, um, right. you can send a text message to everybody who's purchased that aspirin and say, hey, you know, we're not happy with this quality. Take it back to the store for a refund. Hmm. So it is better control over the transparency 
it's called track and trace and consumers have better transparency for it. But there's all these other things that you can layer into it, like the Amazon Dash, um, like uh, one-to-one communications for a product. The other thing that we're doing with it is um, promotions because you can individually serialize each, say, bag of potato chips. So, you know, when you have a contest and you've got like those codes that are this long, it's like enter to see if you've won. And then you've got to take your bag to your computer or your cell phone and you got to type in all that stuff. Um, but those are not individually serialized unless it's a sticker. So these are printed with the film of the, the food. And it's so you can um, launch a promotion if you want. So and notify people. The other thing is when you um, scan the product, like scan your receipt, like say you shop at Walmart, you scan your receipt, loads all those products into your profile. If any of them get recalled, you're automatically told. And then if you need to reorder, you just go into your profile and you just click, 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 either make your shopping list or reorder. Hmm. I um, have no issues with any of that stuff, but I can see there will be so many people that actually the same people that, that will have issue with that sort of big brother don't even realize that this is already going on in massive extents. Your Kroger plus card write down every single thing, you know, like all these different ways people try. It's already there. It's you'd have to live in the forest right now to not be subject to some type of, of absolute tracking on what food you eat and how much toilet paper you buy. I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's not been the pushback that we've gotten. Um, it's just that the, the solution can do so much that it's kind of overwhelming. And you're talking to two different audiences. You're either talking about operations who needs to better identify production quality because it will, it will automatically capture like actual weights and, um, you know, weights of the product that's going across the line if that, you know, the calibration is off or whatever. But then you're also talking to the marketing people who don't care anything about what happens on the right. floor. Right. They just want to know how to make their promotion sell more product. And so. Yeah, I don't really care where my tomatoes are grown but I should so speaking of you're still eating at Chipotle yeah I, I think that's that's a conspiracy it's it's not really actually happening those are rumors started by uh, McDonald's oh wait <laughs> I think McDonald's owns Chipotle doesn't McDonald's own Chipotle I don't. or I think it's the same uh, conglomerate um, those rumors are started by um, what's that other taco burrito place Baja Fresh. <laughs> Baja Fresh is damaging the Chipotle name. Uh, uh, you're I'm calling not, it right now? I'm not following it. Am I what? So you're calling it right now? That's your conspiracy theory? Yeah, it's like the same people that, um, that I'm working on ornaments, by the way. Um, that I'm working on something. I know I have to be working on something. The same people that started that, those rumors about, um, Febreze, remember, it was killing all those animals. <laughs> and it was like started by, I don't know who started that one, but. No. I'm sure, it's, I won't admit it's true, but it honestly hasn't prevented me from eating there. So I'm getting shoved out of my chair. By the dog? Yeah. <laughs> I've got one who's kind of wandering around, oddly. She's like, She's got her back up against the back of the chair, so I can't sit fully back. And she's got both her feet like wedged on my back, and she keeps shoving me. Oh, no, hold on. I'm, I've got a whole big jump. Go outside. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you just kick your dog? <laughs> I stopped him. I didn't kick him. I, sh I moved him I with my thump. foot. I heard a thump. Oh, that was probably Roscoe on the other side. Oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't look like I kicked my dog. You're a hoss. Um, okay, so I have a new idea for a business. We need to get okay. a good starter. So you're putting it out on public? No, I'm putting it out there on public. I want somebody else to do it. I, I really don't want the headache of it. Okay. 
Yeah, so our pre-lit Christmas tree that we bought last year. Yeah, get it out, put it up. And three sections, no lights. Yeah. So we tried, we tested all the light. I say we, not me. Yeah. I stared at it for four days complaining about it and then finally him it last night. I got lights down to put on it and he's like, no, you have to figure out which light is out and just replace it. I'm like, you do that. No, I just <laughs> the way I fix it, it. I restring it. Yeah, I would restring it. So he spent probably three hours, two hours, oh. all the single lights. You know, I could have had that. I could have had that thing lit up in fifteen minutes. But he went through every single light to try and find the ones that weren't working, and he fixed a couple. But there's still two major sections that have no lights. So, no, that is way too much time. I know. So I want to know why there's not a business that you can just call and say, I need a 12 foot tree with soft white lights on November 16th. And then they just drop it off. And then after the holiday, they take it away. Why is there not that people come and put lights on the outside of my house? Why can't yeah, they, they drop off a tree at the same time? They don't do that, huh? They've not offered it. I don't know why not. They're, the lights people that come and do our house. Yeah, I mean the lights yeah. every year. So yeah, they don't have to do You totally think there's a market for busy people who don't want to be messing with Christmas lights. Yeah, I would say so. Don't you agree? I mean, good grief. That's that's two hours of his life he can't get back. And now I'm gonna have to go out and search for lights today which the shelves are practically empty because we've been selling Christmas since July. Yeah. I, um, speaking of which, did you get those glasses? I did. Okay. Good. Um, I know this year we went to, um, this Lowe's or whatever, and we bought, they're really a great price, a ton of lights. And then we pulled down the Christmas um, decorations and apparently I had purchased a ton of new lights at the end of the year too. So I have way too much stuff right now. I need to get rid of it. I can't even find everything in our attic because you know we brought back a bunch of yeah stuff from my mother-in-law's. Well, Hammond piled it all in the attic and so it's all in front and I have no idea what's in any of those boxes that are in the front. All I know is that all of ours are like buried somewhere in the back. So right. I've just been buying all new stuff. I know that's kind of what I did too. It's so cheap. Oh, you know. I'll coupon for 50 cents off paper towels, but I'll go buy new lights. Totally doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's convenience. I will pay for convenience. You know, there's people around here who will come in and decorate your whole tree for you. And yeah. I tried to get on that bandwagon this year, but apparently I'm last year I was too late. Then this year I thought I was on a waiting list, but apparently I wasn't. So now I'm stuck decorating my own tree. First world problems. I don't have my my uh, my half unlit tree with the ornaments that I can't find. I don't even know what ornaments we have in the garage. But anyway, so that's my that's my cram because you know my parents are coming on Saturday. Yeah, and I don't want them to show up to a tree that's like <laughs> one side's lit, one side's not. Our tree this year is wackadoodle. We had to buy it kind of quick. We went to the tree farm to get it. And I'm like, okay, no, that one looks fine. Just get that one. It's a live tree. Yeah, we don't. We have a fake tree, but I don't. I don't like it. I don't like fake tree, fake trees. Um, and so the it's <laughs> like random branches. Doesn't look like it went through the um, quality check that the other ones probably went through, but it's pretty. I don't really care. It's a tree and it's Christmas. <clears throat> I always liked the natural trees myself, but Cameron never liked the needles or watering it. Truth uh, down, he didn't like getting down on the ground to water the tree. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have a thirteen-year-old. He takes care of that. Part. Your thirteen-year-old is way more conscientious than my seven-year-old. Oh, I scared him. I made him watch the Today Show where they had the trees burnt down, um, burning down houses. Good. Yeah, I wanted to make sure he knew that you know it was important, and we all needed to kind of take responsibility for that. It wasn't just his responsibility, but right that 
we had to do all do it make sure that it got done all right so um you wanted to tell me about this fabulous dinner you made so i feel blessed because my kids um will try and eat about anything i put in front of them and i'm a terrible cook but um uh, Megan is a really good eater, so she she will eat. She'll try everything. She doesn't mean she likes everything, but she tries everything. And then um, AJ, he doesn't eat a lot. He's not he's not my eater, but he um, definitely will try stuff. So he, um, I I signed up for these um, emails. Have you heard of them before? No. Is that the Kroger thing? <clears throat> we have an association with Kroger, but I don't know what you mean. So emails, and I, what I end up doing is don't tell them, well, don't tell them this, but I'll sign up for, for a few months, get a bunch of the recipes, and then cancel it. Because the, the, the idea with emails is that they every Wednesday they send you an entire menu of meals based on certain, and there's 100 places that do this. But uh, they they will send you a week's worth of meals based on what plan you picked. Like they have a low carb plan, or they have slow cooker, or like easy meals, uh, thirty minutes or less meals, budget friendly. Then they have like diabetes, or they have all sorts of different um, this is online. Huh? This is online. Yeah. So it's e meals. Um emails.com and I think it's cheap I, I think maybe five dollars a month thirty dollars a month I don't remember how much it was I have to look it up but so what they do is so every Wednesday they send you can download the um, PDF and it says okay so this is day you know day one or day two day three and then here's obviously how you do the recipe and then they do I have it out of order here and then with the week's worth of meals, there's the shopping list. Really? And what makes this kind of cool is, one, I, I really am not a good cook. I, I got that from my mom. She used to say she was so talented in so many other areas that cooking did not need to be one of her, her things that she had to strive for. But I don't, um, I don't embrace that enough to say I'm going to eat crap and fast food. And so I wanted to make sure the kids always had a good stuff. So... I picked, and I've changed around sometimes. Sometimes I'm doing the easy meals. Like in summertime, I do more like the crock pot meals. And of the five, or well, the, like, the, it's seven days. Of the seven days, I probably make only four, three or four, because there's just some that I know my family's not going to like. But for instance, I'm just, I just picked one out, this one. Okay, but the reason why I liked this originally too is – um, they're, they're not, I mean, I think there were some gourmet plans, but that's not my family. I can't make up. So I'm not going to take an hour and make meals. If I wanted to do that, I would just go get cookbooks. But what they do is this particular one is based on budget. So, or no, this one is 30 minute meals, but it, it tells you, well, the budget ones, I have to find the budget ones. The theory is, is that this entire week based on how they build the menu, is I think they have the price eighty five dollars a week. So they're suggesting that for if you, five people. Well, you pick. So you pick either like a cup, like a family for of two, maybe a, a couple, or you take a the family or the plan for the family of four. And what it does is it builds. It's not just building the menus like here's stuff to make. It says okay, this entire week's worth of menus should cost roughly eighty five dollars. And um, the way they do that is they say, okay, when you go to your grocery store and you get these items, you're going to need hamburger and you're going to use this hamburger for meal one and meal, maybe that's not a great example, but may one and two, or go get the onions and get a bunch of onions and you're going to use half the bunch for meal two and half the bunch for meal three. And so then they help you kind of plan that week of not wasting produce or not wasting um and maximizing the the purchases on top of that they match these with the kroger sales so i pick budget meals through kroger's and so it in theory 
should be matching. So if they know that Kroger's, the salmon's on sale, there's probably going to be two meals in here that are salmon because it's going to help that budget even more. So sometimes I do the budget ones, um, but I, I don't match them real well with, even though I try to coupon, I don't, I don't do a great job of that. It's not really my, my, my pure focus is uh, to get different menu items in front of my kids and not always have spaghetti and taco and meatloaf and whatever, because those are the only things I know how to make. So like this, we're in a way. I mean, we just chicken grass. Yeah. Fresh vegetables. Done. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I Real steak. Healthy broccoli. I mean, we're we we're just too busy. I mean, if I if I can do a crock pot meal, then that's fantastic. But the thing is, with these crock pot things, you know, it used to be that it would it's a time saver. It's no time saver. Have you looked at some of these recipes these days? You have to take the meat, brown it on the stove, sear it, put it in there. Then you have to like combine. I mean, it's got twenty eight steps. It's like well. It's just that I'm doing it in the morning rather than the afternoon. It's really not that much of a time saver. I'm all about my crock pot. I love in fact, my crock pot. I do. And I got that cookbook, um, that new Crock and Girls cookbook. They were at the Vintage House a couple weeks ago doing a book signing. And they're just adorable, by the way. And did I tell you, I think I, well, I don't know if you know them, but I met their mom out in Glen Rose, Texas. We were out there for the um, dinosaur thing out there, uh -huh. the, wild, the wild animal park. And so yeah. we needed to kill some time before coming back because we didn't want to be in rush hour. So we went and like cruised around their little historic square where they have all these little cute boutiques and antique shops and stuff. And this woman in there who was just adorable had these awesome hats, like embroidered baseball hats and trucker hats. Yeah, you don't live in the South, so just whatever. <laughs> anyway, she was cute as a button. So talking to her, blah, 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 find out her daughter's in the Crockin, her, her daughter is one of the Crockin girls. And then fast forward like three months or four months or whatever, and they came and did a, a book signing at Nan's place at the Vintage House in Carrollton. So I was like, I know your mom. <laughs> I've got one of your mom's hats. That's funny. That's funny. Well, I like the crock pot thing because a lot of times after school, we're, you know, we're running from sports or to sports or, you know, we're on a little bit of shifts. So as I said, so sometimes in the summertime, I'll, I'll be more crock pot just because we're kind of going in different directions opposed to um, now where we, we sit down and have dinner uh, three or four times a week is, is kind of our, our schedule based on what's going on. But, um, I made like, I don't know. I just think that I, I certainly could research different meals and try to find different kinds of stuff on my own, but so time this, consuming, so consuming. A couponing is, in, is consuming. Yes. Couponing is so hard. I have two. It. Me go to. I'd rather and pay I an extra not. 20 cents. You what? I'd rather pay an extra 20 cents. It's too much effort. My time is worth more. It can be, it can be, but you know, sometimes you gotta buckle down. And so I made the other night, I made an apple crisp and this, um, it was chicken. So it was tater tots. I'm trying to think of this. This was a, either a budget one or a, or a time one. It was tater tots and ranch, uh, packet and, um, Buffalo sauce and then chicken cut in little chunks. And then celery, I think that was it. Anyways, oh my God, it was so delicious. We ate it for two days because I ended up making so much. But, and then the apple crisp. So we had, I like these. I, it gives me a good guide and I, um, are there healthy ones? Oh, they're all, they're all, yeah, that's not very healthy, but I would say they, a majority of them. And because then it, what it says is, okay, so then, yeah. So as I said, you could do, is it paleo? They've got. Um, like no carb, they've got vegetarian, they've got low sodium, they've got all sorts of menus, and then you can match it with your, your grocery store. So, well, so if you started, a friend of mine makes these adorable meal planners, 
she sells them on Etsy at Carrie L. Oh, cute. The and they only are so cute and I would love to use those, but it's just so much time. Yeah, it is. Now, the and I've looked into, I've done it in the past where, you know, they, um, they'll just send you the stuff to make the meals. Right. You know, what's it called? The box. I mean, there's so many different things that you can I'm going to have to check that out. Do you have like an affiliate link or anything? Uh, no, I was going to do that, but I haven't. But I, the first time I got on it, I found it through uh, Dave, uh, not Dave Ramsey. Uh, who's the guy that, um, the money, money guy, financial advisor. Dave Ramsey. Is it Dave Ramsey? But that's who I said was the chef yesterday. Oh, that's Gordon Ramsey. Gordon Ramsey is a chef. Dave Ramsey is a financial guy. Okay, so David Ramsey, if you put in there's a coupon for him, so you get a coupon. But I think yesterday I used the wrong name then, because anyways. So, um, so anyways, but yeah, so I build my grocery list off of this, then I match it with the Kroger's, and I match it with coupons, and it takes me hours. Hours. Just Kroger's? Wait, Pardon? Hours? Each week? Well, it seems like it, because I try to do the coupons. Oh. I, I try to go. I have two websites that I use for coupons, and so like last you week, use grocery game. I don't use that one anymore, but um, because when I sat down to start doing extreme couponing, and with my addictive personality, I needed to put boundaries on that process. I um, I only will go to one grocery store and one. Um, pharmacy, CVS type grocery store to do stuff. Cause I found myself driving all over the world to get a, you know, free box of cereal. So um, I only do Kroger's and I only use uh, crazy coupon ladies and there's one other, I can't remember the name of it, but um, it takes me hours to sit down and match the coupons and do all that kind of stuff. But I went to the grocery store, I went to Kroger's, my bill was $400 and I um, got it down to, I think it was 112. I'm not, I'm, it's, I, so I have to sit there and say, okay, it took me literally probably two hours to prepare for a whole week's worth of groceries, prepare for the coupons, but I saved $300 at Kroger's. That is, ex, that is justified. That's significant. So if you spend a half an hour and spend and save, you know, a dollar 95, okay. That's not really probably worth it. But if you need to, you know, want to try to focus on saving money for your family. It's going to take time. It, it, it's, it's just work. So, and if I know you, you probably completed about 12 craft projects and three work projects while you were doing the meal planning. So it's not really two hours. No, it's hard. You got to have to, you got to, um, you know, you go on the websites, you got to print all the coupons and you got to match the coupons and you go and then you've got, you already got your meals. And I had to make sure my boundaries included not purchasing things that I, we wouldn't eat. And oftentimes, you know, it's I'd be hard like, oh. because you see, Oh, well, that's a great deal. I'll try those. Or like you think, Oh my gosh, I'm getting $3 off. Um, Heinz ketchup bottles this big, but we're fine with the Kroger's brand and it's already that price. So you have to sort of, and then you don't have three gigantuan bottles. Right. You got to kind of let it go with, with knowing I saved this money versus I've saved money. Cause you go to like Kohl's. I can't stand shopping in Kohl's. I feel like I steal from Kohl's. I hear they've got a killer deal going on right now. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know how they stay in business between Kohl's cash rewards, the coupons, the friends and family discount, you can use up to four promo codes on Kohl's online. I ordered blankets and pants and everything. I feel like I stole from them because I didn't pay anything, I think, for this stuff. So, so but, tell me what your else did. What, what did I what? do last night? I forgot to post it. Um... I went and bought Pez. I think I told you that part. But what I didn't tell you is that I set the um, 
I took all the pez out and I did it one of those little things where they have to knock it down and it all oh, right so I took all the pez and I started to spell out Oscar I was like oh it's taking forever so I so I um, did elf <laughs> I'm gonna post it right now that's good did they knock it over no no not yet so you don't know if it worked how many packages of Pez did you have to get? Well, I had purchased these. It had like the, the Pez thing and I don't know, six little packages. I only used like three packages. I'm telling you, I got tired of spilling it out. It's like this big. <laughs> it's just big enough that you can see the word elf. <laughs> because I <clears throat> was getting tired of doing it. So last night, the cupcake panel, maybe she wasn't that impressed with what her elf did. I don't know. But she came downstairs and didn't mention a thing about what they did. Finally, I was like, seriously, I this, this was like sweat equity that I put into this thing. I can't believe she didn't say anything. So I asked her, what did your elves do last night? She's like, oh, we'll you'll have to come see. I'm like, oh, okay, finally. So I had a box of those um, glass bricks because I wanted to drill a hole in them to uh -huh. for the craft projects that we do. Yeah. But I had a whole box of them. And I hauled them upstairs two by two and lined them up in her doorway so that she couldn't get out. And then my thinking was I was going to put the elf inside, but their heads were too big. So their kind of, their heads are sticking out, but the rest of their bodies are in, and Elsa is standing there like she froze them in a wall. Uh huh. I thought that was pretty smart. Yeah. Did she get the concept that it was supposed to be frozen? Yeah, she said. Um, I think they're pretending that Elsa froze them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's just not I'm not impressing her this year I thought that was a pretty good one but it she just well it's sort of like now you know she's just thinking well that's what happens you know it's like not that interesting <laughs> I, don't I don't know I mean when she saw all the shoes locked up in jail she thought that was I mean she snickered she was like huh he left my shoes up. Well, Aubrey is staying overnight with us Saturday, and she's she doesn't have the elf at the house. I found out. Makes me sad. Ugh. But um, I guess I can't get this posted. Um, so you can so, have to come up with something good while she's there. What I probably will do is um the snowflake one Megan's been wanting that one anyways and I think that one will be uh, impressionable um I think let's have any other ideas I only get one chance with her um I like the one when they're sleeping and you ride on their face that is a good one. <laughs> I did that one when we were traveling one year, but the problem was I used um, a Sharpie because we were traveling for the holidays and I didn't want my child walking around with you know, <laughs> Sharpie in her face. So I used washable marker, uh, washable ink. Actually, what, what I did was a stamp pad. Yeah. And so I used um, the washable ink on the stamp pad and stamped her whole face, her arms, everything that was uncovered in the bed. Um, and then I went to sleep. Well, I took some pictures of her and then I went to sleep. Well, in the morning, none of it, it had all absorbed into her skin. So she didn't see any of it. Like she got up and she didn't see any of it. And so we just saw the elf sitting there with the ink pad and the ink and she thought that it was getting ready to stamp on something. 
did um so i ended up showing her the pictures on the camera where it was all over her face and her arms and everything and she was like oh that's funny but you know she couldn't see it because it all absorbed into her skin so yeah well do you think do they have that um that you know the um i caught santa do they have the i caught elf thing I don't know if they have an elf version or not because they've got Easter Bunny, Santa. I think they have a couple um, different characters, but um, they probably don't have it. Maybe it's copywritten or something because um, yeah, they couldn't do elf on the shelf unless it was the licensing thing. But because uh, that would be that would prove to um, Aubrey that. You know, because she wouldn't obviously understand that, like, I could take a picture of the living room, you know? Well, why don't you take a picture of something random with your elf talking to Santa and then leave that? Some. Yeah, I got to figure that out. I, um, yeah, I have to figure that out. So what are you planning to do tonight? Uh... I'm not sure. I'm trying to hold off on my easy ones. I have a hidden list going. You do have a list now, huh? A little bit. When I think of an idea, I put it on here because, of course, I didn't do my planning like usual. Um, I am trying to figure out what to do with, because, uh, you know, we had that candy fundraiser I told you about a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got boxes and boxes of those stupid white packing oh. peanuts. Yeah, no. Oh, the peanuts. And I'm thinking there's got to be something good to do with that that doesn't make a huge mess. Can't like, stand those things. I know. Those get everywhere. Um, I see nowadays, now that they're doing more of the, um, the, the air things. What about... Yeah, I mean, like, I the air packs. But, the, I mean, we've got all these peanuts. And yeah. the thing is, if you've got a bunch of crap, use it. Absolutely. Them. Can you not fill her shoes with them or some or boots or something? You already done something with the shoes, but what if you filled every single one of her shoes with those things? That would be funny. I could do that for sure. Remember That'd the time when we took, um, oh, I mean, I've told you this. So when I was working out of yeah. electronics eons ago, we took Geraldine's sports car into the uh, shipping department. And we opened her sunroof and we filled the whole thing with packing peanuts. That's so funny. That's good stuff. She was, I mean, we didn't stop there. We also like wrapped her bumper. It was around the time with uh, uh, President Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. And so we wrapped her bumper with a sign that said Monica Lewinsky on board. Oh gosh. And, and we had filled her car with the peanuts and she couldn't get all the peanuts out. Oh, so, I don't have it. I'm leaving to go to lunch and she's so mad, so mad and has not seen her bumper at this point. And so she pulls up in front, you know, with her fancy sports car and she's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And I'm looking at her bumper and I'm dying yeah. laughing because she doesn't know that's there yet. And when I get closer to her car, she still has so many peanuts in it that the air vents are popping them up like one of those right. toys, you know, that you roll on the little thing. So it's like, there's just flying peanuts all around her car. And she's like, revenge is a, <laughs> she's like going on and on. So she goes to the post office and she pulls in to mail a bunch of stuff. And she said, she wondered why these people were kind of snickering at her in the post office, but she came back out and she saw her bumper. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. <laughs> so bad. That's funny. <laughs> it's so funny. But that office, I mean, was pranks are us 24 7. It was so much fun to work there, not because of the work we were doing, just because of all the pranks that were going down. I mean, you had to watch your back always. But that's a whole topic for another day. Well, yeah, really. well, I like the uh, peanuts in the shoes. That that could be good. Yeah, we. I could even do it to Daddy too, but that that <laughs> sent him from grump to uh, <laughs> something else in about a nanosecond. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't have plans for him tonight. I've got to do something. Well, I keep talking. I've got. I'll probably do the other um, Christmas um, tree because they do. They wanted another Christmas tree at one point. So we're going to do something with the um, gingerbread house. Yeah, I didn't get it. It was minions or some whatever. I'm trying not to lose my train of thought, but there's a visitor who is just <laughs> tooting away and about to choke me out. <laughs> I'm right. trying to keep a straight face, but I can't do it anymore. Is, is the air green around my screen? Because <laughs> I don't know what this pug ate, but it's... Ugh. Those are bulldogs. That's the same thing. Roscoe is offensive. Offensive. Mm -hmm. Well, I had another topic and I can't think of what it was. I know I wanted to talk about the ornaments. dash. Huh? Let me see your ornaments before we go. <clears throat> okay. Well, some of them worked out. Some of them didn't. I just put the rest of them in here. Um, so, and actually all together, this, these are for three different people, but um, that doesn't really look very well. I know, but it doesn't. Um, oh, that looks good. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, happy. You figured with, it out. That's good. Well, I'm happy with the way these turned out for, like, I don't know if you can see them, the family. So, like, I have a few families that I'll, I, I was going to give, like, one, you know, two. But I really kind of wanted to do something for the kid, the girls. But this one, oh, it's not going to. I'm not going to be able to run it. It's not going to show because it's too, maybe if I pull it back. Yeah, it's just I'll, like, I'll just go. It's trying to focus. No, it's, I can see it. You can? Uh -huh. On my screen, it's very, um, it's got a reflection that you can't even see it. So you can see like the pink and stuff? Yeah. Huh. Okay, on my screen you can't. So I'm still playing, but then I had, so I don't know if you can see this one, but it's just, the pinks are competing. Yeah, that's so, probably not. Um, I'm gonna probably pull those off. The, the beauty of doing these is I can pull these letters off without damaging them. So I thoroughly enjoyed using the uh, glitter on the inside. I thought that was really fun to kind of watch that kind of come together. But ultimately, these these frosted ones, which are already done, I think make a more elegant sort of ornament that I was I was I do like that with. frosted version. That's cool. Yeah, and actually, when I went to go pull out the reserves, I had because I I had purchased these probably in July. Uh, I don't know why. And uh, so why I went. Bobby to, told you to. <laughs> I probably had a coupon, and so. Um, when I went to go pull out what I had, I realized I only had four clear ones and the rest of them were, were frosted anyway. So I might uh, go back and get more, who knows. But I'm pretty much, well, I shouldn't say I'm almost done. Um, I've got one one more person I need to kind of go get something for. And I'm gonna make some of these ornaments and then I'm, I'm just counting down the days because I'm so flipping excited for Christmas because I'm ready to go. I got a bunch of these yesterday. I think these are what I'm going to do for. Oh, they're kind of flat round. Yeah. The flat round. Well, I went to, Oh my gosh. Yesterday at lunch, I was like power shopping on a mission and we have this one. It's like a dream shopping center. It's got, <clears throat> it, okay. This shopping center has a dance store. Okay. You know, my kid dances twice a week. It's got a dance store. It's got a Dollar Tree. It has a Hobby Lobby. It has a Hemispheres, which is a home decor place. It has Barnes and Noble, Michaels, Joann's, PetSmart, <laughs> Old Navy, all yeah. in one thing. And that's not even all of the stores. Those are just the ones I go to. Yeah, I wouldn't have to go anywhere else. Uh, it's one shop shopping. It is fantastic. So I was like, power shopping because I had my list. Yeah. And, you know, you can't get everything at every store. No, unfortunately. So, yeah, but that's Walmart, and I hate going to Walmart. So, yeah. And then I went to at home across the street, and of course, in all that time, didn't buy a single string of lights. <laughs> yep. So that's 
So that will be on the list for today. Hmm. But yeah, so for these, I think I'm going to do um, glitter inside. I've got to figure out what the city of Dallas colors are. I think they're like blue and yellow, maybe. Or maybe it's funny. Blue. I was literally going to say like blue and gold or something, but I wouldn't have any idea. I need to, I need to check. So I was going to do glitter on the inside and then um, whatever the other color is on the outside, do like their names and then how many years they've been at city hall. When did we, couldn't you do I, like, I thought about this halfway through is like half color, you know, like just the bottom sort of an elegant sort of swoopy blue like you dipped it. Yeah. Kind of reversed it. Yeah. yeah. So it would be sort of the bottom half would be blue and then you could do the words on top. It'd be kind of pretty. I don't know if I'd like that. I don't like the clear. Oh. It'd only be half clear. I would dip a frosted one on the outside. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Something to think about. Yeah. I do want to try that um, nail polish in the water. Thing. I do not. You do not. Maybe I'll try that today since I've got to get my silhouette out at some point. Out? Well, it's out, but I mean, fire it up. <laughs> I have Locate to. Locate my laptop that's been traveling around uh, the house with my seven-year-old. Yeah, I you need use the um, the mobile design thing that they have. Didn't you say Todd had it? There was a something that came out, but the 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 uh, mobile one is uh, there. They don't. It's on in beta, and you can't get it right now. Oh, unless you have a Droid, you can't get it for um, iOS stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to hide my craft stuff. In fact, it's, every morning I've been trying to do a better job of sort of cleaning up the background. It hasn't really worked out really well for me. Um, so I need to hide my crafts today because I didn't get a lot of work done yesterday. And I need, well, I, I got some last night. I got a lot, a lot done last night. But during the day, I need to hide these fun things. So well, I started buying materials for my craft exchange project. Oh. I have, um, and I saw some posting, but I didn't respond to it. Yeah, you need to tell me if you care if I add somebody to your group. How many people are in my group? Six. So make it seven? I don't care. You're the only holdout. <clears throat> oh, you. Yeah. Everyone else says, I don't care. Everyone else says, no, I haven't started. That's no problem. It's Dory's friends, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. You, Dory will come after you. If you say no, <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian will <laughs> don't blame you on social media. <laughs> you say no. Nope. All right. I've got to go. All right. Sounds good. I've got to get um, on an errand. So, all right. Well, I will talk to you later. See ya. All right. See ya. Bye. Oh, uh, come and visit Molly on MaggieMoo.com. Come visit me on mommyupgrade.com. Wait, see ya.